Padua has been considered the nursery of art since the beginning of time, for the magnificent artists, scientists and poets attracted by its cultural atmosphere. The city is also the second oldest university of Italy. Founded in 1222, it claims the educational formation of excellent students and the collaboration with famous professors such as Galilei, Morgagni and Vesalio. Even though the city has such a great history, we wanted to focus on some problems that we were able to notice around us. Born as Universitas Juristarum, the university has become one of the greatest educational centers in Europe, with 60,000 enrolled students coming from all around the world. Since we are an international team, we have noticed that they struggle with inclusion, language barriers and finding good jobs in the labor market. We were also concerned about environmental problems. As you can see from the satellite view, Padova appears as a red spot in the middle of the blue area of the remaining Italian territories in Western Europe. In fact, the European Spatial Agency has described the flatland surrounding Padova as the gas chamber of Italy, and the city is the second Italian capital for pollution. And that's why we've started working on two projects, Boiling Frog and Parimenti, trying to give a contribution to the city. Italy is an attractive destination for international students and every year Italian universities are increasing their number of English degrees. However, enthusiastic international students are facing different challenges and obstacles during and after their studies. Starting from our team members' experiences, we noticed that foreign students were facing particular challenges and obstacles during and after their studies. We conducted a survey targeting international students enrolled at UniPD and also contacted more than 70 associations and interviewed 30 international students across Italy trying to identify their difficulties. The survey conducted showed that 81% of international students lacked fluency in Italian during some interviews, we understood that they cannot speak sectoral language as well as general Italian. Besides language barriers, they also face challenges regarding skills required by the Italian labor market. As you can see, only 11% are currently working and almost 60% are unsure whether the course they graduated from is enough to meet the requirements of the jobs they are interested in, which indicates an educational gap in providing students with required skills and practical knowledge to enter the Italian labor market. We've also realized that there are programs aiming to help students enter the labor market, but these programs are not delivered in English. Moreover, We've noticed that extra EU students face more challenges than their EU peers. The 2019 data of the Ministry of Labour showed that 30.6% of foreigners from countries outside the EU aged between 25 and 34 years were looking for jobs compared to only 19.6% of foreigners from the EU. Also, According to the Foreigners in the Labor Market 2018 report by the Ministry of Labor, 47.5% of non-EU graduates with a degree in a STEM discipline are employed in low-skilled positions, compared to 1.8% of Italians. This data demonstrates that not only are international students faced with more challenges in the Italian labor market, but that they are also coming from countries outside the EU in an extra factor contributing to this scenario. After analyzing all this data and information, we have decided to take action. And that's how our project was born. Perimenti is a mentorship program with a people-centered process of guidance where experienced perimenters from various professional backgrounds assist perimentees along the path to career success through encouragement, networking and skill development. 
our mission is reflected in our name. Parimenti is an Italian adverb which translates as equally and can be read as two separate words meaning equal minds. We believe in the equality of talents and abilities between international and Italian students. The path begins with a mentor-mentee pairing based on common interests, educational background, career goals and availability. The pairs schedule several one-to-one meetings to work through a detailed career development plan, hard and soft skill improvement courses and CV tailoring services. In the prototyping phase, we launched our first mentorship program as a test among UniPD students and within two days we got more than 20 students who were interested in the program. The scale-up plan will include a social media campaign trying to raise awareness on the lack of inclusivity in the workplace, try to convey a message of equality and multiculturalism. Members of the Parimenti programs will also benefit from having access to exclusive networking events where they can meet industry professionals and prospective employers. Our project could potentially affect 32,000 international students, creating a sense of community and belonging. Future starts today. In the year 2021, a considerable number of people aren't yet familiar with the concept of sustainability and how they as individuals can take action toward its achievement. As more people are drawn toward living more sustainably, more companies have started to be concerned about sustainability measures, but most of the time this is just a superficial act following the so-called greenwashing trend to accomplish more profit rather than an actual change. This has led to even more confusion for customers on how to make a good decision. The name of our project, Boiling Frog, is a reference to the Boiling Frog Syndrome. It is a metaphor used to describe the failure to act against problematic situation which will increase in severity until reaching catastrophic proportions. The premise is that if a frog is put suddenly into the boiling water, it will jump out. But if the frog is put in tepid water, which is then brought to the bowl slowly, it will not perceive the danger and will be cooked to death. We found this concept strongly relevant, especially when it comes to the environmental crisis. Our team spent more than three months on identifying and defining a problem, understanding the market and background research. We conducted two surveys in two steps through which more than 500 entries were gathered and quantitatively analyzed. In both of them, at least 60% of respondents expressed a lack of access to clear and concise information about sustainability differences between the needs and preferences claimed by people of different age help us in creating our personas. All of these lead to the better understanding of what our value preposition should be. We want to provide people of all ages and different, different needs with accessible and digestible information on how to live in a sustainable way in tandem with building community of like-minded people who can help each other learn, grow, and take action. Our first step in launching the project will be to create a website where people can easily find articles and daily tips with reliable sources. In addition to that, there will be local initiatives and events in which they can actively participate. To encourage people to join our mission, our website will also work as a social platform by means of discussion forums, the possibility to be assigned to a nearby group under the lead of a mentor, and gamification mechanics. For example, by learning and joining the activities, people will collect points that will improve their sustainability level, reaching upper grades characterized by a different avatar. We will include all levels of information channels, such as planning physical events for promoting connections in our community, 
creating educational packages for schools and workplaces, and also by holding online and in-person lectures with the participation of professors and other experts. Boiling Frog will mainly address three sustainable development goals. Goal number four, quality education. Goal number 12, responsible consumption and production. And goal number 13, the climate action. Our vision for the future of the project is not only to encourage individuals to take action, but also to lead corporate attitude towards sustainable development by evaluating the sustainability merits of companies and sponsoring businesses and providing them with the Boiling Frog badge we can help customers in identifying the most sustainable companies. We want people to be the pioneers of change in their own communities, changing their behavior, creating connections, and influencing others to join them in this global mission. That's why we believe Boiling Frog has great scalability. We want everybody to understand that there are frogs slowly boiling inside the hot water of our own inaction, and that we must jump away in order to survive. So as we say, a better future is just a jump away.